So Rita, tell me about Tevin. Tevin is my husband and he's an amazing one and I love him. He's a really sweet person. I met him at Georgia State University when we were both going to college uh, in 2010. And then uh, soon after he joined the military and we decided to keep our relationship going. So it's pretty much been a journey, you know, uh, sticking through it and eventually getting into marriage <laughs> and now we're happily married. Um, yeah, that's, that's Tevin and our relationship. <laughs> so you said 2010. Um, how old were you? I was 19, I believe. No, I was 18. Wow, can I do math? <laughs> Obviously, I was in college for a reason. I was 18, yeah, when we first met. Now, what were your idea, um, your opinion of marriage before you met Tevin? My opinion of marriage? Hmm. I thought that marriage could work. I didn't see it work with my parents, so I was a little bit um, down on that part. You know, I was sort of looking at it as, okay, well, marriage might not work because, you know, it didn't work with my parents. But um, I still was like a romantic at heart. <laughs> and I was, I was still dreaming that a marriage, you know, it could work. I still believed in it. So how did you feel when you found out that uh, Tevin had to go into the military? Oh gosh, I was sort of shocked. Um, I'm, I'm not going to say scared away because I was, um, I mean I was really deep in our relationship already and I wasn't just going to drop him, <laughs> but I was definitely thrown off because I didn't really, um, I didn't really know he wanted to join just then and especially the part he wanted to join. He originally wanted to do army. Oh wow. And, um, yeah, so. <laughs> Yeah, I was a little bit shocked. Yeah, it came uh, far left field for you. Yeah, definitely. Now, would you say that it um, completely turned your life around? It yes. has, but then it hasn't. <laughs> because growing up, my dad was, he was switching jobs all over the place. I mean, we were from, uh, like I mentioned before to you, <laughs> I was born in a different country in Liberia, and he and my mother came here, and then we moved from New Jersey, one part of New Jersey to another part, then we moved to Georgia. So it it was a little bit um, of a change because my husband, you know, the stability was not always home, but then again, my dad was sort of the same way. So it wasn't that much of a change. Seems like you have uh, very strong family values. I do. Now, uh, how do you feel about starting a family with Tevin? I am excited. I would love to start a family with Devin. You know, I, I think about that um, aspect of our relationship all the time. Maybe not immediately because I would like to start a career, but I am very into starting a family. <laughs> Look forward to it. Excellent. Now, when it comes to where you are, both with Tevin, where you are with school and your location, did you think a couple of years ago that you'll be where you are today? Mm. Maybe not here in New Jersey at Rowan University doing RTF because I started out as uh, an economics major. Well, originally wow. as a managerial science major because I didn't know what I wanted to do. <laughs> but then I switched to economics because I thought it was interesting in the beginning, but then it got boring. And then I, then I really became interested in radio. And so I um, came to Rowan for radio, TV, and film. But I would, a few years ago, I was in Georgia, so I would imagine that I would have still been over there, you know, graduating from Georgia State, but things change. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> things do change now. Um, you're telling me earlier how the military, you felt, wasn't necessarily a huge hump. It was almost like um, an occupation, a job. Now I see that his job might have changed and your major might have changed, but how do you feel about your relationship? throughout the years? Uh, it's, I would say that it's grown a lot because when we began our relationship we were still teenagers and um, you think you know it all when you're that age. <laughs> you know, I definitely did. But you don't know anything at all. <laughs> and things, you know, there's a lot of factors that come into a relationship. A marriage takes work. Any relationship takes work. So, I, um, 
I would say we've grown a lot. Definitely grown. Wow. Yeah. So when it comes to the work, um, what are some tips that you would encourage other women in your position when it comes to um, having a relationship with someone in the military? I imagine that patience is a big role. It is, yeah. Oh, you're so right. Patience, communication, empathy, because you're not always going to understand what, what that person is going through. You know, especially when they're deployed, you you have no idea what it's like to be in a different country and going through, you know, different aspects of the military. You you don't quite understand, um, or you won't quite understand. Uh, so communication is important, empathy is important, and also have your own thing going on, your own career, your own interests, your own hobbies. Have something going on um, so that you're not just you know focused in on that aspect that that person is away or that that person is at their job, you know, so many hours. So you're saying that um, though there might be uh, a distance when it comes to what you guys might be doing at the same time in the same day, right. mm -hmm. the love is definitely stronger because you're coming from two different directions. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I mean, absence does make the heart grow fonder. It, it sounds really cheesy, um, and I don't like cheesy stuff, <laughs> even though I'm going into radio and it can be cheesy, but it's so true. You know, you, when you don't see that person for so long, all you can really do is think about that person. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Rita. That was a very enlightening experience. I think it's wonderful that you can share with us your relationship and uh, your experiences. It seems like you have a rare bond with your husband. I do, or I believe I do. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. All right.